Hello fellow citizens and welcome to That Girl's Boost EA where I help give you yourself a boost. Today we will discuss how to be a stupendous student. I was a student for a long time and also taught some too. And during that time I developed several habits that helped tremendously. Let me illustrate two different ways of approaching a class by acting out a scene between a student and his teacher. We can use Walter White here to play the teacher and the penguin to play one of his students. Mr. White! I deserve a higher grade on my assignment. I followed the instructions. I should get an A, you cantankerous chemist. Quack, quack. Penguin, your lab log lacked detail and precision. I returned it with a number of comments. Did you look them over? Comments? I don't need no stinking comments. It is you, sir, who should reread and reevaluate my replete report. Quack, quack. Comments, indeed. My, my. Let us see how another student approaches his teacher. Mr. White. Do you have time to talk about my lab assignment? I hope to learn as much as I can in your class. Thank you for your comments. I have read them over. I want to make sure I understand them all so I can work to do better next time. Cer certainly, Batman. I am happy to go over the comments, and if you want to meet again, just let me know, and I will be sure and make myself available. <laughs> As we see from these examples, to be a good student, approach classes with the goals of learning and improving. It is especially important to have this attitude when interacting with teachers. If you let your teachers know that you want to learn and improve, then they will often be very willing to help you. Some students will instead argue with their teachers over grades. Unfortunately, this is not constructive. Instead, a student should be humble and ask for constructive criticism and for methods to doing good work. Thank you. Let us have a look at Penguin and Batman in class. Here is a question, class. How can you make blue rock crystals out of sugar and food coloring? <sighs> Penguin? Quack, quack. Uh, I must have dozed off. There's no substitute. There there's no substitute for a full, full, full night's sleep. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> and a complete breakfast, Penguin, including oatmeal, to give your mind and body the energy it needs to focus and learn. I have the answer, Mr. White. In fact, that cobalt confectionery has become a favorite at home. Meow. You can fill my kitty 
bowl with candy anytime, Batman. <laughs> As Batman shows us, sleeping enough is also very important. You want to be well rested so you will remember what you study. Also, a secret weapon is oatmeal for breakfast. Students who eat oatmeal do much better. I wish I, I wish I had known that sooner myself. I have more tips for being a good student, but I think these are less enough for today. Good study habits and a positive approach to learning have lifelong benefits. They have certainly helped this Kate Crusader defeat against or defeat some dastardly desperados. This is Batgirl, hoping to help you give yourself a boost. Until next time, citizens. <laughs> I'm going. I think I. Oh, sorry. <laughs>